How do the double garage detached houses in Richmond Hill and Markham look like, and what are their prices? Hi, my name is Priscilla. I'm a real estate broker in GTA. Today, I'm looking for a future home for a middle-aged couple who just immigrated from Japan to Toronto. We are still exploring in orientation stage. Most properties we will visit today have been newly renovated. Some are complete rebuilt. Before viewing these properties, please don't forget to subscribe my channel so you won't miss my weekly real estate knowledge sharing and property virtual tour videos. See you later. Okay, let's take a look at the inside of this property. When I come in from the entrance, there is a small foyer, or we can say a short hallway, where we can put shoe racks on both sides. Then I walk straight inside. I'm facing a spiral staircase to the bedroom area on the second floor. On my right-hand side is a living room, which is connected to the dining room. Many traditional detached homes are designed in this way. It is rectangular structure with no wall partition between the living room and the dining room. There is a bay window. It's not very curved. You can see the street view through this window, and there is plenty of light coming through. Although this property only has an eight-foot ceiling, you can see the chandeliers used by its owner is very pretty. This is our kitchen. We can feel its area is quite large. The countertops are made of cars. The cabinet has a lot of storage space. It is a pity though that the street in front of our home is a main road. Even when I close the balcony window, I can still hear some traffic. And if I sit outside, I believe the noise will be louder. Personally, I wouldn't prefer a view like this. This is our formal dining table. Here's the family room. The area of the family room is quite large, with a wood burning fireplace in the middle. People who like the smell of pine wood would definitely appreciate it. Okay, this is how the first floor looks like. Let's go upstairs and take a look at the bedroom area on the second floor. Let's start from my left side. This room on the back of the stairs should be the master bedroom because it's quite sizable. I think this master bedroom is greater than 300 square feet. Here's our bathroom, which is quite spacious as well. It has a traditional bathtub and two sinks. This bathroom faces the backyard and you can see the road outside. Here's the shower and a walk-in closet. Let's check out the next bedroom. This bedroom is also very big, but it is a pity that it also faces the main road outside. This is another bedroom facing the side wall of the neighbor. Its size is still quite big, around 160 square feet. Then we come to the fourth and the last bedroom. This bedroom faces the front yard, so it is quieter than the other side. Here's a shared bathroom. All the bedrooms in this property are quite big, but it is a pity that there is a main road in front of this property. This is the end of today's video. If you are interested in any property type, neighborhood, or price range, please feel welcome to talk to me. I'll be more than happy to arrange showings or take virtual tour videos for you. My service is 100% free. See you in next video.